Way. What's going on, guys? Doing here representing WGD. Well, God damn. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the E Leaf iTap pod system. Okay, this was sent to, for me for the purpose of this review. Yes, I said it. The purpose of this review. God damn. Anywho, let's not waste time. Let's dive down. Let's see what you get in the box and whatnot. Then we'll go back up top. Vip, let's give you guys my thoughts. And yes, let's go. Hey, god damn. So here is the box itself. I tap e leaf, and you can see pen nice display this side you got your scratch and check and whatnot e leaf there nothing at the top and bottom then you have all the social media right here on the side and at the back some more information on what it comes in in the box okay so what we'll do is we'll just open the box itself e leaf there let's just give that a little shake yeah get a little shake there you go and there you go here is the little kit itself you can see the battery, the mod itself here, and you can see a little capsule right here. So what we'll do is we'll just take this out for the time being. Okay, and we'll see what we get underneath the box. And what you get underneath the box is spare USB, it's, it is a type B, okay? A spare coil, this is a 0.75 ohm coil. I just don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's to do with like this bit here, but yeah i couldn't find anything anyway use a manual which is pretty thick <laughs> for a little pod system and there you go what's some warning and whatnot so what we'll do is we'll keep the coil out because what we'll do is we're going to test this one as well okay i do want to test both i want to test one of them and then test this as well on camera okay so we'll put this all back in here safe and sound let's put that in there all good bob's your uncle nice cool sick saucy okay so here is the device itself. Let's go with the device first. So it is nice and square. Let's just get a closer look, man. There you go. So you can see here the fire button. You can see it says E leaf right there. Your LED indication, you've got a nice ring, a gold finish around it. A little ring here, whatever, like, well, I don't know, like a square <laughs> thing. Um, these holes here and here are your airflow, okay. At the bottom, CE dot vape in a bin, okay. There's your little port, your 510 gold plate, 510 pin connection, okay. USB at the back, and it says I tap, okay. Nice square uh, device. Normally, you'll see with devices, it's more rounded off. Let's say, I'll get this one here, it's a bit more rounded off, okay pen style but this is more square i do like this this is a 800 milliamp um <coughs> little uh mod okay finish as well okay very nice finish i don't know it's like a like a very matte finish on there you've got a very clicky fire button and you can see it comes on at the moment there's nothing in there so it will flash okay it's got loads of protections as of the usual turn it on five clicks to turn it off one two three four five there you go this little square uh, fire button I think it is that little thing I showed you earlier in the box I think it's to do with that I'm not too sure but I feel like it is I might have to strip that off and put it on top I don't know it felt sticky anyway so go ring around it and there's no battery I mean no fire button rattle there's no rattling going on at all and yeah that's pretty much it so we'll look at the pod itself so as you can see the nice curve shape here for your mouthpiece as well you can see the hole there this reminds me you know the smock nod you can see how that's shaped as well almost about the same width i should say but with this one this has a coil in it so i just obviously obviously clearly you've seen earlier there's a coil yeah normally it was refillable they've already got like a set coil in there for example let's just pull, pull this out you've already got a set coil already and then you just fill it from the bottom itself okay but yeah you do get a call in here i don't know what calls they are specifically but they are really small so at the bottom you got your connection and you do have your airflow which is right here three holes okay and it does have a stopper it's not dual airflow that just keeps it from stopping uh continuously spinning around you've got nice little cutouts here so you can get a good grip three holes you close down to two and then one 
you can close it off and it stops right there so there you go nice and easy and if you want to take it off turn it to about there then you unscrew well, let's just uh i'm actually you know what i've got juice in here yeah sorry about that i had to take the juice out or else it would have leaked everywhere okay like a nun's ass but i don't know what a nun's ass would leak like but anyway <laughs> anyway okay you can see uh, you're looking about 0.15 it's two mil uh, juice capacity with 0.15 or one mil juice capacity it goes all the way up all in the inside there you can see the mouthpiece cuts off and you can, it'll fill all the way around here and here is the call itself 0.16 okay very pretty standard yeah and to fill it you can see this rubber piece here so what you do is a little lip part you just pull it off and you've got two fill parts i like how they've done two fill parts because when you fill on one side the excess air can come out the other instead of one obviously you don't want the liquid pushing back up and it start leaking everywhere and then you have to clean it and then yeah that's a little bit irritating so it is on this top part here near the base okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to what you do is to take it obviously you screw it out to take the coil off all right and then we're just going to get this if i can pick it up so the 0.75 the first coil i'm just going to put it out there the first coil is not so bad okay it's pretty nice all right let's screw this one it's pretty straightforward uh pod system do you know what i mean let's screw that on obviously you can see the holes just here that's what i do i've got some heisenberg vampire vape uh nick salt 20 milligram let's just let's just quickly prime this yeah you know i mean just put some there 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 and here nice and easy all right then you just screw this in until finger tight there you go you don't want it too tight and then the nozzle goes in like that easy as it is and you will see it if you can on camera slightly fill i'm just going to leave it that way and just fill it up really quick there you go the only irritating thing is putting this back in because you've got to put this into there first yeah so best thing to do i would pull it a little bit see it's really irritating already push that in first and find that having a hard time to put it in i think it's slightly easier as soon as that this little divot here when that's uh basically juiced up it'll be easy to push in because it'll be all well, yeah really saturated and juiced up you'll be easy to push in when you first put it in though is it, with it being dry and no juice on there it's going to be harder to put that back in but yeah there you go and it's really close to uh, the airflow itself but obviously it's on it's only going to be on one side so you're just on one side okay so oh, what we'll do is after that pop that back in pop it in there and there you go this this doesn't have a magnet as far as i know there's no, there's no magnet going on in there it just slips into place okay i've not had any problems really in it actually just coming off so easy okay with me holding it like that i'm just giving it a really good shake it's not coming off so it does slip in it don't matter which way you put it in it will go in the same way regardless and other than that that is pretty much it for the whole kit itself one two three four five it's on one two three four five let's close this off and let, let it saturate first obviously don't use it straight away because it's still not all saturated the coil and yeah other than that that's it so let's go back up top let's vape this and i'll give you guys my thoughts so yes that was the e-leaf i tap pod system there you go nice close up okay i've got this airflow closed up to one hole open full battery let's have a go uh what what have we got in here i'm not i've just finished work man i'm tired what have we got in here yeah, Vampire Vip, <laughs> Heisenberg, 20 milligram, Nick Salt, let's go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice, nice flavour, I'll tell you that. 
very nice flavor good hit as well okay first of all let's go with the looks first I do like the look of this uh, little pod system here it is squared off I don't think I've seen this shit before on a pod system because like I said down below they're more flattened okay rounded but more flattened this is like nice and square I do like the size of this okay I like the black and gold finish I really like that okay it's just a very simple obviously USB at the bottom like I said down below okay nice draw very restricted okay now what we'll do is I'm gonna just take this out open this to two holes open there you go and I'll try fully open after yeah still restricted which is nice let's try it fully open there you go let's put this back in There is a difference. There is a difference. Obviously, with one hole open, it's restricted. It's still restricted on fully, fully hole, uh, fully open. The airflow fully open. This is not automated, okay? When you inhale, it's not an automated. It's just with the fire button, press and hold and go, okay? Obviously, some of us they're more. Uh, uh, you got automated inhale system. Now, before we even carry on, I'm gonna just gonna. I've got the color burn right there, okay? And I've got the Mido by uh, Glossy right there still need to review these two so they'll be coming up soon as well so you can see here it's quite a size difference the the, the color burns just slightly taller okay uh, in width they're pretty much the same in width uh, this one's slightly uh, slimmer okay yeah but I, I do like it 800 uh, milliamp like I said before I even carry on um, missed anything else out obviously green the green light there you go that is 100 to 60 watts blue is 59 to 20 and then red is obviously low battery uh, 0.16 coil and 0.75 they are GS what are the GS coils let's just show some GS it coils one the 0.16 is stainless steel the 5 to 10 watts and then I've got the point uh, 75 ohm in here uh, 8 to 25 watt and that is comfortable okay and what they're also saying is uh, I'm looking I'm specifically on the actual e leaf. It's saying it's got a dry burn protection module activates activator basically. Note this protection can only be activated by using the GS uh, 1.6 ohm head. Okay, I've been enjoying that coil, the 1.6, but I'm, I'm I'm enjoying this one slightly more. Okay, I feel like I won't get in the full potential on the 1.6, but the 0.75. I don't know why. I, I, I do prefer this one okay very comfortable in the hand okay easy to you can take this out put it back in that is not gonna come out unless you really pull so even if there's no it's just welded in it's, it's they've molded the ship right for it to just fit snug okay so that's nice easier to take the coil out obviously and screw it and put it back in uh, two mil juice capacity there you go I'm just correct myself two mil juice capacity which is nice it's obviously easy to fill but what I don't kind of like is where this little uh, fill pot system is positioned. It's so close to uh, the airflow ring here. And taking it off is easy. Putting it back on is still a bit iffy to put back on. I would have preferred it. Okay. Hopefully this will have a, a close up. Let's just do them. No, okay. Right. Anyway, it's just to the side here. I would have put the fill pot on the side. It's just easier uh, to to, to get to and probably be able to close it and make a, a better way of closing it I think that's the con for me any other cons uh, in general I can't really find any other cons for me personally um, it's a good hit it's nice restriction okay easy to use battery life good I'm telling you now I, I think I've only charged it once since I got it I've been testing this out and it's lasting me uh, a good while for the size for, uh, for the amount of milliamp of what it is price wise you are looking at 20 pounds 20 pounds uh, for the whole kit right here okay and you can get it in the black and gold which you just seen here uh, you can get the silver or this weird blue and looks like a royal blue but a little bit of a light color okay 20 pound I don't know how much the coils and same on here 11.99 for the full pack which you get five in not bad not a bad price 
and definitely not a bad price on the pod system if you like pod systems and are really restricted in here this is definitely for uh, definitely a start kit for the smokers get off them goddamn stinkies man and start vaping that's the main thing i would highly recommend for a new vapor to start on something really restricted similar to a cigarette itself okay get the right nicotine so you'll be satisfied with the nicotine hit okay yes i would uh, recommend this uh so, so you know the price have a good browse go search for it if you want to purchase it okay and that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, a little video okay give it a thumbs up and a subscribe which would be much appreciated if it's a thumbs down let me know why in the comments i can improve and i'll see you guys in the next one oh god damn